Hi students, I am Professor Abbas Ahmed Husseini, working as Assistant Professor in the Mechanical Engineering Department at Sharad Institute of Technology, College of Engineering, Yatra. In this video, we will discuss Unit Number One, Fuels and Combustion. So let us start with the definition of the fuel. A fuel is any material that can be made to react with other substances so that it releases chemical or nuclear energy as heat or to be used for some kind of the work. I will give you some example for better understanding of the definition of the fuels. So in case of the IC engine, basically we are using petrol, diesel or some kind of the bio diesels. In order to produce an mechanical energy so initially that petrol and diesel is having that chemical energy that chemical energy get converted into heat energy after combustion process and the same energy is utilized for mechanical energy in terms of the engine shaft rotation so the second example is that in case of the steam power plant coal is used as a fuel and in case of that steam power plant, that coal is implemented in combustion chamber of the boiler furnace. At the end of the combustion process, that chemical energy of the fuel get converted into heat energy and that heat energy is responsible to convert that water to steam. So this is the evaporation process. So in case of again, the third example is that gas turbine power plant. In case of the gas turbine power plant, the fuels are generally petrol or diesel. So in case of the gas power plant, in compressor, the air or gases are compressed. When that compressed air or gases will enter in the combustion chamber, the fuel is added externally. And after ignition process, combustion of the fuel takes place. And the tremendous amount of the heat is generated means here also the chemical energy get converted into heat energy and that heat energy is responsible to produce mechanical energy in terms of the shaft rotation of the gas turbines so these are the some examples of the fuels for better understanding there are so many applications of the fuel in every sectors in automobiles trucks buses, trains, motorcycles, aircraft, ships, manufacturing units, power plants, building heating system. These are the some important applications of the fuels. So students, these are the classification of the fuels. Now, there are two types of the fuels, primary fuels and secondary fuels. The another name of the primary fuel is natural fuel and the another name of the secondary fuel is a artificial fuel. So there, these are the various states of the fuels solid, liquid and gaseous. So fuels are available in different states solid, liquid and gaseous. So wood and coal is the best example of the solid fuels in case of the primary fuels. Petroleum that is petroleum products that is in liquid, natural gas, in gaseous fuels. Charcoal is the best example of the solid fuel in case of the artificial fuel. Again petrol in liquid fuels. Example of the gases is that coal gases mostly used in the industries that is artificial fuel here you will get idea about different states as well as examples of the fuels that is solid liquid and gaseous solid fuels these are mostly important fuels in case of the different power plants or earlier heat engine application so the pit that is Wood is the best example no doubt but the byproduct is that peat is a form of the coal 
in the life cycle of the coal biomass decomposes over the thousands of the year and become a peat and then after thousands more years become a ignite or that coal once it is dried peat becomes extremely volatile so that lignite and the coal is the best examples of the solid fuels generally that coke fuel is also used in case of the heating natural gas application so in case of the steam power plant the coal is used as a fuel and in combustion chamber that particular solid fuel that is coal get burnt and due to combustion tremendous amount of heat is generated and that heat is responsible for the producing that steam from the water so these are the some examples and features of the solid fuels that natural fuels are mostly used in the automobile applications so petrol that is gasoline diesel kerosene compressed natural gas lpg methanol ethanol butanol these are the examples of the liquid fuels generally these liquid fuels are used in variety of the automobile applications like trucks two wheeler four wheeler heavy duty vehicle vehicles some kind of the marine application aeronautical application such kind of the liquid fuels are used as well as in case of the gas power plant that petrol or diesel is used as a fuels and they get mixed with the gases or air after compression process when they are enters in the combustion chamber they will get mixed with that liquid fuels that is petrol or diesel and after ignition the tremendous amount of heat is generated and that chemical energy is converted to heat energy and further that heat energy is responsible to produce a mechanical energy in terms of the shaft rotation in case of the gas turbine power plant so these are the gaseous fuels the first type is that fuels naturally found in nature that is natural gas second is that methane from the coal mines second is that fuel gases made from solid fuels there are three sub categories gases derived from the coal gases derived from the waste and biomass third one is from other industrial processes third one is gases made from the petroleum product that is lpg second one is refinery gases and third one is gases from the oil gasification process fourth one is gases from some fermentation process best example is that biogas so these are the some important characteristics or you can say it as the properties of the good fuels first is that high calorific value so whatever the fuels are used in the variety of application in case of the automobile power plant processing industries the calorific value must be high moderate ignition temperature so it should ignite at minimum temperature or moderate temperature low moisture content so in case of the coal if some moisture content is remains then improper combustion will take place in order to avoid that that low moisture content level is most important low ash content whatever the fuels after burning process the out, the output is that some kind of the energies like mechanical or that heating energy and whatever the combustion process is carried out at the end the ash are produced after combustion process so low ash content moderate velocity of the combustion it should not produce harmful product like harmful gases like the nox particulates so2 co it should be minimum next is that low cost easy storage and transportation facility these are the most important thing next is that easily controllable so next important point is that calorific value of the fuels so what is exactly that calorific value so calorific value is the total quantity of the heat liberated when one unit of the fuel is burnt completely so this is nothing but calorific value i repeat once again is the total quantity of the heat liberated when one unit of the fuel is burnt completely 
there are two types of the calorific value one is that high calorific value of the fuel and second one is a low calorific value of the fuel in case of the high calorific value of the fuel it is the total quantity of the heat liberated when one unit of the fuel is burned completely and products of the combustion has been cooled to the room temperature so this is nothing but that high calorific value generally for the application of the power plants automobiles marine or aeronautical application we must have to prefer the fuel which is having the high calorific value so whatever the output of that calorific value is there it is in terms of that complete combustion process so the next is that low calorific value of the fuels it is a total quantity of the heat liberated when one unit of the fuel is burned completely and products of the combustion has been permitted to escape so these are the main difference between higher calorific value and lower calorific value in case of the high calorific value whatever the heat is liberated and after fuel is burned completely the product of the combustion has been cooled at a room temperature so this is the main speciality of the high calorific value of the fuel but in case of the low calorific value of the fuel whatever the heat is liberated and fuel burnt completely and the product of the combustion has been permitted to escape so this is the formula of that latent heat of the steam that is it can be denoted by that lcv that is lower calorific value is equal to high calorific value minus latent heat of the water vapor formed we know the latent heat of that particular water vapor that is steam is near about 587 calorie per gram so students these ppt denotes or give the information about some introductory parts about the fuels their definition their classification applications their different states of the fuels as well as the calorific value of the fuels in next video we will definitely discuss the concept of the combustion thank you